Good evening, everyone. My name is Bethany Cook. This is the first time I've stood up and shared my testimony in public, so please forgive my nerves. I have been coming along to Lifeboat for a short time now, in the past year really, and I got baptised just before Christmas. Stephen had asked me if I'd like to share how I came to faith, and so here I am in front of you tonight. I'd like to begin with this verse of scripture that I have come to live over this past year. Proverbs chapter 14, verses 26 to 27. In the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life, to depart from the snares of death. It brings me such peace to know that I am secure in the Lord. I grew up on a farm in between Dungannon and Ochnacloy. I have two younger sisters and I am currently studying agriculture. I am incredibly thankful to God for my family. They have been so faithful and have always shown me such love and care. I grew up going to church as well as the Girls Friendly Society and other children's Bible clubs and so had learned about God and about many of the stories in the Bible that we are taught as children. But I never really understood that I needed to be saved personally and from my sins. And I never knew him personally in my life. Then on the 18th of January last year, I was at home. It was a Sunday evening. I was with my mum and she was listening to a Lifeboat church service online. A lady was sharing her testimony and I also started to listen to her, to it with her. The lady shared about how precious Jesus was to her because of all that he had done for her through the cross. She shared how Jesus had defeated sin and had defeated death and that because of his grace and mercy we can also share in his victory but we need to make him Lord of our lives. This was the first time that I really understood that I was a sinner and needed to be saved. That evening after listening to the service, I felt convicted and I knew that God was talking to me and I knew that I needed to give my life to the Lord just as the lady lady who had shared her testimony talked about. So I had went to my bedroom and prayed asking Jesus to forgive me of my sins and to be Lord of my life. Since that time, I have felt so much more peace. Throughout my life at school, I would have been quite anxious, but knowing Jesus has changed that. Proverbs chapter 18, verses 24 tells us that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother, and that has brought me such reassurance And the song is, What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and grace to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Has also become one of my favourites. I know it is a well-known course, and some people might not think it is particularly special, but it is such a simple reminder that we can carry everything to God. That was just over a year ago, and at the end of last year, just before Christmas, I got baptised here in the lifeboat. Although I was very nervous about it, I knew that it was the next step in my relationship with Jesus, and so I decided to go ahead. It was a public way of saying that Jesus is my Lord, and afterwards I just felt a calming reassurance that he was with me. My testimony is a simple one. It isn't a story of dramatic life changes, but something that has changed for me since coming to know the Lord is that I feel much more peace within myself. My mum has also noticed this. When I was in school, I was very shy and really lacked confidence and often felt very alone. I didn't really enjoy school and honestly found it a hard place to be. Over this past year, I have really felt the peace of God with me. 
and that has brought me such comfort. One verse that I have found helpful is 1 Peter, verse 5 to 7. Cast, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. I am so thankful for the love and care that God has shown me. I know that I still have much to learn in my faith, and there is much that he has to teach me, but I know that he is faithful, and I am thankful that he is the Lord of my life. Whatever the future holds, I have much more peace, as I know it is secure in Jesus, and I am thankful for that. I just want to end with one final verse that has encouraged me. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen.